Hey guys, it's Godzilla Zachary, and we're going to be doing a 2023 recap of all the clocks I've got in 2023. So, to be again, and just to note, hold, hold why these are empty. I'll show that like in a little later in the vi video, but let's, yeah, let's go ahead and look at the clocks that I got through the year of 2023 as a recap to show you all. So I got nothing on this shelf, but I'm going to do all the clocks I got in order. So the first one I got in 2023, just turning the light on, was this. So you know, this is a new arrival that I got in 2023. This is a Rhythm Remington 2 mantle clock. It's brand new. For those who don't know, I will also go over prices. Is I got this at Jimmy's Alpine Clock Shop, and it takes place as the most expensive clock I've gotten at $260. But I definitely think it was worth it because it looks great and it looks fantastic. I have a two-year warranty on it, so in case it actually does break, I can go back there and exchange it for a new one. So that's the first clock I ever got uh, in 2023, and it still will take place as the most expensive clock for now. The second clock I got in 2023 was this Shats Anniversary Clock. It's a 400 day and it's really beautiful. Unfortunately, when I tried to regulate it, it's, I broke the suspension spring, but I'm having help from my friend Jesse, a, a, the clock master, or, to actually help me fix this. He'll be helping me by ordering a new suspension spring from eBay, and then I'll get it installed in this and it will work again. These latches on the side, and it has leveling feet on the bottom, which surprises me. It's actually just like my grandfather clock, whereas I actually have to level it. But yeah, it's beautiful. I'm zooming in. See, so it says Shats in cursive, and it's a 400 day, which was, of course, made in Germany. But here are some cool facts I've learned about this clock. Zoom in. You guys see that? It it says 53. So this movement was actually made in 53. And it says 55 right there. So that must mean the clock was made in 1955. And I'm pretty impressed with it saying 55 because that's the same year that where we know that Disneyland opened. So that's actually pretty cool. And it's very pretty. Unfortunate that I broke it, it's, but I will be getting help about that. And as we know, um, like the eleven o'clock bell is just about to happen, so we'll wait for the clocks to go, and then we will continue. So the madness is over, and we can continue. This is actually the third clock I actually got. We move that one. So this is actually a cute little little pendulum mantle clock. Or table clock, rather. Yeah, but I like the pendulum it has. And it does open from the back. It's fully functional. Well, and, yeah, I like how detailed it is. I showed it, it actually to my nana, and she says it's actually like Cogsworth. So we'll call him Clocksworth instead. <laughs> but, yeah, this is another clock I got in 2023 and it's amazing the fourth clock i got in 2023 was this equity alarm clock it's a twin bell alarm clock and by the ticking i think it is ticking faster than normal because here's the thing this clock is actually mechanical it was running partly fast but i got help from discord and it actually is now all running perfectly okay, without having any fast issues or anything so yeah huge thank you to my friends on discord for that and that's the fourth one i got in the year 2023 so now we're downstairs guys and this is the fifth clock i got in 2023 it's a howard miller sandringham wall clock 
I did a full review on this and it definitely came, came out perfectly. This came from a jewelry store for $100 and it was a pretty good deal. Well, considering it sells for like one, th like 13 or 14,000 some, I mean 1400 something brand new. But yeah, it worked perfectly. And I know a couple other Discord friends that actually have this clock, including like Clock 1010 and Clock TV. But mine's the best version because it has the silence feature. And yeah, I have tons of Sandringham videos you can check out, but that's actually been in one of the other clocks I got in 2023. So the fifth clock I got in, I mean the sixth one, it was this cuckoo clock. It's German and it is musical. But it's kind of running in low on power, so we'll go ahead and wind this. If you're hearing chanting, guys, that's actually just my father, because he's just chatting on the, the phone about, about things for our upcoming in relocating. Sorry, I have to whisper about this, because my Nana is actually in the dead area. I can't let her hear about this thing. But yeah, this was actually the, the next clock I got. As you see, it's a squirrel design on it. The dancers do work. And the bird is right here. It's in a chalet style, which is pretty cool. And the pendulum is raised pretty high because of how finicky it is somewhat. And it has this music box. Uh, but I'm going to be leaving a caption in which will show like what the, this music box means in English. So... Let's go back up and look at the next clock. The next clock like I then got in 2023, which was for Christmas, was this little guy. Okay. This is a Slava alarm clock, okay, which has 11 jewels in it, it from the Soviet Union. I don't want to discuss anything about like, like USSR stuff, but mostly I need to keep the channel family friendly and I don't I want to be in politics, but I did get this Slava clock for Christmas. <sighs> Sorry, I'm like out of breath. I'm just trying to catch it. <laughs> the next one I think got, which is actually also from the USSR, which was not wrapped, unfortunately, but it's also a Slava, was this. The Slava bird alarm clock. My friend Danny's clocks has the same clock, and it's pretty cool. And those are all the clocks I pretty much got in 2023, but there is one more that I almost missed out on. And which one is that? It's this one. My official channel mascot. So, uh, if you guys never seen the documentary video, there will be a card to that. But this is actually the first clock I ever built, which serves as the mascot for my channel. Oh, so I took ceramics and I actually he built that clock myself. Oh, which you will find in the card system, the documentary video I made to to build this, and it was pretty fun. And I used a plate for this, so it's used in parts of a plate, and then I actually added the details to it. Because of the Disney 100 celebration, I themed it specifically to that. You see, we got Disney 100, there's the castle, like the Tinkerbell's archway going over it to, of pixie dust and some fireworks. And then what we got is a bunch of, of characters that replace the numerals. Donald Duck, Cinderella, Evil Queen, Alice, Wreck-It Ralph, Pluto, Maleficent, Peter Pan, Gaston, Elsa, Genie, and Mickey. And the movement actually came from Amazon. So this was the first clock I ever built. And yeah. And before I go, oh, this is what happened. And all the pendulum clocks are now here. So those two got relocated in from the office. And the other one, it's just like down there. They're working to get fixed. But that's where these two clocks actually went. And those are all of the clocks that I got in 2023. So I got a pretty good amount of them. So that was one of the good things I had in 2023. I'll show off other 
things I got in 2023, which still made the year pretty good for me. It only sucked because of the fall semester. That was the only bad side of it. But the good news is that it was pretty good for me through the rest. And, yeah. <sighs> Sorry, I'm like, like running out of breath. Yes. But hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Ring the bell to be notified for more videos coming soon. And I'll see you guys in the next one. So long!